right? So back, so this is back in the book of Jeremiah, the 51st chapter. And it says, And I will send unto Babylon fanners, thou shalt fan her, and they shall empty her land, for in that day of trouble they shall be against the round about. So you're going to have all of these different nations, whether they're the Hamitic nations, okay? Yeah, uh, obviously the Russians, but the Russians, we know the Russians are Edomites. And you're going to have to be the Persians, which is the, 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 um, the, uh, the uh, Iranian, you know, the Carmanians within the scriptures. All of them different nations, they're going to be joined against, uh, joined together against Babylon, man. Okay? Because they're going to find out, hey, the scripture talks about how, uh, 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 um, how the skirt's going to be lifted up. In fact, I can get that now, because that's the reason why you're going to have it to where all them that are around about America, okay, that are around about, right, the, the, the system that the American, you know, the American government has set up, the American elites have set up, right, and them that, they're, they're, the, they're the ones on the top, and they're the ones that reap the benefits of all of those different nations. Right, even when they set up a, a so-called a, 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 a unity that's supposed to benefit for everyone, in that you know they set up a so-called UN and so on and so forth. Okay, even that that, does, that don't benefit that don't benefit everybody on the earth, man. That benefits the the the, the um the desires of the elites. Right, and I always how you doing, man? I always bring up uh, 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 um uh, uh, um you got the Red Cross. Okay, the Red Cross, what they do, they go go all they're doing is going around spreading diseases, man. All right, so let's get that in within the book of Isaiah, the 47th chapter. Okay, how the, the Mosai is revealing this, uh, you know, this, this system for what it is. Right, so this is Isaiah 47 and 1. It says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, and sit on the ground, where there is no more throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. All right, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstone, grind, and cover the locks, and make the legs bare, and uncover the thighs. Right, pass over the river. It says the scripture says that nakedness shall be uncovered. So all of that wickedness that these, you know, these elite banking families have been doing behind closed doors, that's gonna be uncovered, man. Oh, you got it to where you got, you know, your everyday person knows about the, you know, the Illuminati or something like that, man. They all know about that, man. All right, why? Because they, they we really starting first and foremost with the, you know, with the, with the, uh, um, with the men of the Lord. Right, you got it to where the words coming up and it's coming up against against uh, uh, the strongholds. That's why the scripture talks about casting down strongholds, man. All right, it, it says that Bose is a stronghold and we're casting that down, man. Right, the elite banking families being on top uh, is is a stronghold and we're through the spirit. Yeah, how about me outside? We're casting that down, man. Okay, and now you're gonna have it to where you got uh, 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 brothers gonna be waking up to the, the fact that the fact that they are Israelites and that's a that's a big stronghold because. We know through the scriptures, namely in the book of Kings, that when all Israel was going to turn and uh, uh, face the east and pray unto the most side, that the most side was going to come back and be be destroy this place. That's why the scripture says they've taken craft to cancel against the anointed of the most side. Because why? Because in, 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 in taking away the heritage of the Negroes, the Spanish, Native Americans, the Israelites, and taking that heritage away, you take their ability, you take away their ability, right, to, to prosper in war, alright, for them to return unto the Lord, alright. You take that away, man. That's what you got to do. Where you go, the average day Negro, Hispanic, or Native Americans believe they're they 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 just that, man. Okay, that they're the lowest, man. And that's a that's a mighty stronghold of the reading that the more size uncovering, man. That's why the scripture says what it says here. All right, it says for our Redeemer, the Lord of Hosts, is His name, right, and the Holy One of Israel, right. And sit down, get thee into the darkness, O door of the Chaldees, for thou shalt no more be, no more be called the, the you know the Lady of Kings. So when we get into the kingdom okay. of the Mall side, when the Mall side establishes the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans as the as the top dogs upon the earth, okay, you ain't gonna have it to where people are gonna be like, oh, America, that's the place to go. Man. Nobody ain't gonna be saying, nobody's gonna be saying that, man. Okay. In fact, the scripture says that everybody, the, the, our gates are gonna be continually open because why? Because the forces of the Gentiles, you know, if you got certain gent, you know, heed the nations that they gotta, you know, they, they got a certain spice that we like out there, they're gonna be bringing that in, man. You know, they go if they got a certain resource that we like within that land, whether it's wood, all right, animals or whatever, they're gonna be bringing that within into the gates of Jerusalem, man. Huh? All right, and they're gonna be on a hardcore subjection underneath the, the Negroes and Spanish Native Americans. We're gonna tax them heavily, right? But they ain't gonna be talking about America. You know, well, I gotta go to America and, and this, that, and the third because why? Because that's not gonna be no more, man. In fact, when you go to the book of Job, the 20th chapter, the scriptures talks about how Esau ain't gonna be remembered anymore. Isaiah, the 14th chapter. The scripture says, "How would that become? Uh, how would that fall? Uh, how would that uh, 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 um, uh, uh, falling down to the ground or Lucifer? Who's Lucifer? Esau. He's the light bearer. He's the one that bears the wisdom of all of these different nations, genealogies, and so on and so forth. All right. He holds that information. 
All right, what's the a good example of that? When Alexander, when he was, you know, in so-called a uh, 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 power over the earth, right? And I, I believe it was actually his one of his generals told me when he was out there in around about three, three, four, three forty, three fifty BC, around thereabouts, when he got conquered, you know, in Egypt, he set up a, a, a library like Alexandria, all right, and he had it to where all of that information from all of these nations, they brought that onto themselves, man. All right, and I became like a covering cast over all of those people because that hey, like how they say knowledge is power. Well, hey, when you know certain things, man, you, you can lie about it. And that's what Esau has done. Okay, he knew, he knew about the scriptures. He knew, he knew who the true people on the most side were. That's why you had it to where when they were going in, out there into slavery, the hardcore bondage underneath, you know, the so-called white man and so on and so forth. They had it to where they had it to where uh, they had it to where the Negroes and Spanish neighbors. They didn't they didn't get into the scriptures. Really, it was the Negroes. They they didn't allow them to get into the scriptures, man. Alright, but as for the people that were out there in places like Ghana, alright, Nigeria, alright, the ones that, that, that left, that, that were, you know, that the most I had it to where they stayed within that land, right, even, you know, even after the times of slavery and so on and so forth, you got it to where they, they know the name of the most in, you know, in a broken Hebrew fashion, but they know the name of the most high, man, okay? Even out there within America, you had it to the, the Seminole Indians, all right? They still had certain remnants of knowing the name of the Lord and knowing the, the, the Hebrew customs and so on and so forth. But see, all things wasn't going to be restored right up until this time, which goes back onto the first piece that I had brought up, the book of Habakkuk, the third chapter, right? Uh, Habakkuk, the second chapter, rather more in the third verse, where the scripture says, the vision is yet for an appointed time, man. So that vision, which, which, one of the, which the prophets did see of us, you know, back in in, 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 in in a good state well that's for an point in time all right and also the division of, of, of America being destroyed Babylon being destroyed right and all of these wicked societies being destroyed well that vision is for an point in time see the most side works within time scales and time points man he doesn't do he ain't like regular Jake when just does something rash okay of which rash just comes by way, way of the system man you're rash because the system doesn't allow you to be who you want to be man okay that's why the whole, the whole, the whole system that Esau has set up is contrary to what the Negro, the vibration that the Most High has put on the Negro, the Spanish Native Americans. Man. It's contrary to that, man. That's why you're the, last, the, the first, you know, you last hire, the first fire, okay. You worked the longest hours, okay. Why? Because you was gonna be cursing the sea, right, or cursing the field. Now the, the Most High is using his whipping, whipping stick, which is Esau, man. That's all that's happening out there. But see, when the Most High comes and he raises, his, you know, his people up, right, both physically. Right, and spiritually, because the most high is actually going to have it to where the Negroes and Spanish David America. They're going to be raised up, man. All right, they're going to have it to where the chariots going to beam them up. All right, this place gets destroyed as pursuant to the book of Isaiah, the 24th chapter. All right, they, the most high is going to have it to where they get, they get beamed up. Bam, they get beamed up out of this place. All right, now you got it to where you got a new earth, which is going to be the same earth, but refreshing, renewed. All right, back onto the old system of, the, you know, old, old, old system, not Esau's bricks. And, you, you all right there? You know, what do you think about the British economy right now? Is it doing very well? You think it's doing well? You see, gross darkness, man, because the British economy ain't doing well, man. Okay, you know, you got the pro post uh, uh, Brexit, uh, 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 they're going to think about. Okay, that's going to mean, you know, that's going to put a lot of people out of jobs, man. All right, and then, you know, you, you got the, uh, the cycle of depression that comes as a result of that. All right, so people lose jobs, they have no money, so they're not spending. So the, you know the people that you know the places where they would spend their money, they're gonna be losing jobs, man. Right? That's what you call as a cycle of depression, man. And hey, we're looking forward to that because hey, we know that the Lord is gonna that's he's, he's, he's gonna be ever close, and that goes back onto the plan I was making before the Giza came up. In that the most is gonna give us perfect rest in that day, man. Okay? That's when you're gonna have rest. You got dudes talking about oh, you know, elder apostle Taha, right? Are you gonna retire? If look, our rest comes in the kingdom, man. Okay, our rest is gonna come when the Yahweh Shai sits on the throne, man. Right? No, not when Esau's in power. All right, you got all kind of, you know, you got all kind of diseases going right all over the place. All now, nah, man. We're gonna rest when Yahweh Shai is in power, and you ain't gonna have no diseases. You're gonna have perfect rest, man. Hey, you resting in in this, in this society? Really, you're just being subverted, man. Because he, hey, if you understand, just like how Henry Ford said, if you understood the monetary system, you'd rise up. Therefore, if you understood anything else about the way this man society how, and how he runs a society, you're going to rise up, man. That's why they put a heavy spirit out there to where they keep you uh, on your leaves, man. Right? They keep you relaxed, man. Okay? So let's get back onto the scriptures back here within the book of Isaiah. Uh, I, I finished that. It was actually in the book of Jeremiah. Alright? It's back in the book of Jeremiah. 
uh, uh, um, see how the cameras do. Like I said, that's still going, apparently. Um, you know, like, like I said, apologies, man. You know, Satan's be, you know, Satan's rolling heavy, man. Okay, but back in the book of Jeremiah, the second chapter says, "I'll send unto, uh, uh, and I will send unto Babylon fanners that will shall fan her. And they shall empty her land." Okay, and so the whole land of America, that's gonna be empty. You know, certain places, certain key uh, 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 strongholds that Esau has out here in the world, those are gonna be empty. Excuse me. All right, and I'll send unto her fanners that shall fan her, and they shall empty her land, and uh, for. It, for in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. So in the day of trouble, just like how the scripture says, the Lord has. And hey, hey, that might be that might be the video title. I might have it. I have the title that because the Most High does work. He works in his time slot. He's meticulous, man. Look how he set up the Levitical priesthood and how meticulous they have to be with their measurements and so on and so forth, man. Right? How the you know? Hey, the, the Lord says commandments are meticulous, man. And they all have everything there has has its reason. So the Most High is going to have it to where Esau is going to last. However, he's going to last. For the, by reasoning of Yahabah Shimi Aosha and the meticulous plan has been he's put forth, man. Okay, so he says there in the third in the third verse and it says, and against him that bendeth the bow of the archer, right? Uh, let the archer bend his bow against him that lifteth up in his uh, brigadine the spear, right? And it says, and thus the slain <laughs> shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they shall thrust through in her in her in her streets, man. All right. For Israel has not been for, for Israel has not been forsaken, nor Judah of his of his power, right? Right, the Lord of hosts, man. Okay, right. He says uh, through their uh, through their land, though their land, uh, though their land was filled with, with iniquity, with sin, against the Holy One of Israel, right? Flee out of the midst of <laughs> flee out of the midst of Babylon, man. Right, both you know, starting first and foremost with your mind. That's why the scripture says uh, in the book of Michael, the second chapter, on the tenth verse. Right, arise, you depart, for this this ain't your rest. Right, this ain't no place where you can retire, relax, chill out. Okay, this ain't that place, man. But the Most High is setting up a, a, a place. That's why the scripture says, uh, uh, um, um, uh, in the book of Amos, the ninth chapter, around about the tenth verse. In that day, he's gonna close up the breaches thereof, and ultimately, he's raising up the men of the Lord. But see, the kingdom ain't set up here, so ain't no time to relax. Hey, hell, the scripture says, much is given in that you got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, but much is required. What is that that, that quantity that, that you, your, a lot is required of? It's going to be your work, man. Okay? It's going to be the work. And see, the, the reward of the work is going to come come in the kingdom. All right? So it says there within the book of uh, Jeremiah 51 and 7, it says, For Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power, of his of his lord of the lord of hosts though their land was filled with sin and against the holy one of of, of israel it says flee out of the midst of babylon and deliver every man his soul right be not cut off in her iniquity for this is the time of the lord's vengeance when he will render unto her a, rec a recompense man and what's a recompense that's when someone fucks you over and you fuck them back over okay that's a recompense right in other words it's called vengeance man Okay, and hey, the scriptures, hey, the scriptures talk about vengeance, man. All right, let me get that within the book of First uh, Thessalonians. Uh, it was the Second Thessalonians one and six. All right, the scriptures, hey, the scriptures talk about vengeance and how the Most High delights in vengeance, man. He likes it when he likes it when 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 you when you you know when hey, hey just like how we were bending over backwards with Esau, the Lord likes it when that's returned unto Esau's own head. He likes that. Okay, this is in the uh, uh, book of Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians uh, chapter one verse six it says, Seeing it is a righteous thing, right, with the most side to recompense tribulation unto them that trouble you. So it is a righteous thing with the most side to, to, to you know to take vent now obviously you ain't because you know, dudes will take that and they'll start, you know, doing a polite man. Setting up uh, armies and trying to take down Esau physically. Don't you know the scripture says how Esau's blessings is a sword, man? Okay, so you ain't gonna be able to take this man down in his own game, man. You know, take up bullets and try to fight Esau. That's not gonna work, man. But see, the scriptures talk about how Israel is gonna be made into a new threshing instrument. Okay? And we was gonna thresh down the mountains. Now, what are those different mountains? Well, if you have a summit, which is the top of the mountains, which is where our different governments meet up, the mountains is gonna be the different governments, man. And the most I said that we're gonna we're gonna thrash down those different governments, man. Okay? 
So you can only imagine what kind of power that the Most High is going to impart upon us. Psalms 147. Right, Psalms 147. Right, uh, I'm going to start from... I'll go straight to the point. 149. Psalms 149. I'll start from the top. It says, Praise ye the Lord, and sing unto him a new song. Alright, and what's that new song? It's that refreshing of your mind to where with it is said within the book of uh, um, uh, Jeremiah 14 and 2, uh, 14 and 12, rather more, is also shall, shall yeah, I think it's uh, Jeremiah 14 and 2. Uh, let me get that right quick. Make sure uh, uh, um, I've quoted the right scripture right there. It was, uh, it's Jeremiah. The book of Jeremiah. Um, 17th chapter, isn't it? 17. Come on, come on. Yeah, uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4, rather more. Uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4, and thou shalt discontinue from thine heritage which I gave thee, and thou art caused thee to serve thine enemy in the land that thou knowest not, if you have kindled the fire within within my heart. So when the scripture says, You shall sing a new song unto the Lord, well, we've discontinued from our heritage, so guess what? When, when, when the Lord was going to raise up his men to teach and so on and so forth, in them teaching, the Most High was going to return, uh, was going to renew that song, man. He was going to return you from discontinuing from your heritage, okay? And you was going to remember that again that you was, you know, you was part of the talk, you are really actually an Israelite, man, okay? You know, uh, you know, an Afro, uh, you know, you're not an Afro-American, you're not a Hispanic, you're not an American, uh, a Native American Indian, you're an Israelite. And that's the new song. That's what this, the, the new song that's being uh, uh, sung out there onto the four corners of the earth. Okay? That's the new song that's being sung out there onto the four corners of the earth. And the most size got it to where that's, that, that vibration is being pushed forth heavy, man. By starting first and foremost with the elders of GMS, man. Okay? Let's go on to the, uh, what it says there within the Psalms. Uh, um, Psalms 149 and 2. It says, let, the, let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name and dance and sing. Or let me <laughs> reading too much there, man. Okay, let's let's slow down a little bit there because there's a lot there's a lot to be said there. It says, let them praise his name and dance. Okay, so you, we was gonna praise his name, man. Okay, because when the Lord delivered you from a certain predicament or a certain situation, you gonna you gonna praise the most high that he delivered you from that certain predicament, man. From that certain situation, man. Okay, and it says here, let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Right, let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name and dance, and let them sing uh, uh, praises upon. The, uh, let them sing praises unto him with timbre and harp. Okay, for the Lord take the pleasure in his people, and he'll beautify the make meek of salvation. So when when you know when people talking about everybody's gonna be saved, well, even that's an exclusive. You know, salvation. Hey, salvation is exclusive. But even in saying that the meek shall inherit the kingdom, that means that to say the proud is gonna be destroyed. And the scripture gives examples, it gives, you know, you know a, a multitude of uh, examples to where, you know, different individuals were proud in that, and the Most High destroyed them. Hell, the scriptures talk about how the Most High hardened Pharaoh's heart, all right, to the end that when he had hardened his heart, uh, uh, um, he, 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 he uh, uh, the Most High did it to, to where it's for, by, for reason of, uh, of destroying it, man. And that's the same thing with Esau, because when you go to the book of Obadiah, the first chapter, one about the third verse, the Most High talks about how... How, the, how he has made Esau proud, man. Okay? And when you see these devils, man, they are proud as, you know, they're proud as hell, man. But the Most High is doing that, so where he is, when he's abased, it's going to be that much more of a sweeter thing. Okay? So, um, the Psalms 149 and 4, it says, The Lord take a pleasure in his people, and he will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory, let them sing alo uh, aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of Yahweh Bashimi outside be in their mouth. Okay, and a two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance upon the heathen. Why was they going to execute vengeance upon the heathen? Psalms, the hunt, uh, Psalms, the, uh, Ezekiel, or the more the thirty-six chapter. The scripture talks about how we have we, we've become a, a residue, a, rather more a possession unto the residue of the heathen. Man, we, the scripture.